Every year since 1974, the Shrine of Kansas has brought together the best and brightest pre-college football players from across the state. They come together to play a game that is about much more than statistics or victories. This game is about making miracles happen. Since 1922, the Shriners Hospitals for Children have treated more than 800,000 patients from all over the world. Last year, they cared for over 120,000 patients and their families. The St. Louis Hospital is one of 22 hospitals located throughout North America. It is an 80-bed orthopedic facility dedicated to providing world-class medical care to children in a compassionate, family-centered, and cooperative care environment. Shriners Hospitals boasts top-notch research and training facilities. The research center currently diagnoses, treats, and investigates over 100 rare bone disorders. Thanks to the ongoing efforts of the Shrine of North America and public donation, advances will continue to be made. This year alone, it is estimated that Shriners Hospitals will spend $616 million caring for their patients. No money is accepted from private insurers or from government programs. Since 1974, the Kansas Shrine Bowl has existed, not only to showcase elite athletes, but to provide the means to help these children and their families lead fuller, more productive lives. And I was born in Springfield, Missouri, and the doctor there told me and my mother, that, or told my mother, that the way that it was, I'd probably never walk. Well, she didn't take that very well, so she immediately took me to the Shriners Hospital in St. Louis. And uh, they just welcomed me with open arms, act like it wasn't a big deal, if they just fixed me right up, and that's what they done. I indeed want to thank uh, the Shriners for the great week that we have had. Uh, this is my third go-round, so I knew that I was going to be eating an awful lot the whole time here, and uh, I surely wasn't disappointed. Uh, the um, amount of care and the amount of attention you've given us players and coaches is indeed appreciated, and what a wonderful organization. Uh, I had an all-state uh, defensive lineman play for me who was born without uh, all of his fingers uh, and could have never played on our football field had it not been for the Shriners. And as a result, he was an all-state uh, football player, also an all-state wrestler. And then there is a person that uh, we have known all over uh, since he's been born uh, and Salina. In fact, his father uh, is a farrier who shoes our horses. And Rex is uh, going to be in fifth grade this year. And uh, Rex, two years ago, needed to go to the Shriners Hospital to lengthen his leg so that he could play football. And uh, through their device of lengthen his leg, uh, Rex played football for the first time in his life last year. Uh, he played running back for them. He just went back into the hospital where they did another surgery to correct the bones as they grew. And last, uh, and two nights ago, he was playing tailback for the West Shrine Bowl team. And I'll tell you what, it was a lot of fun. This is my third Shrine Bowl, as, as it is Marvin's. And that visit to the hospital is something that leaves a lasting impression 
on people for the rest of their lives. And to be able to give back and to help in that cause is an honor that uh, is beyond belief. And I think that week we spend at Emporia and Salina is a week that not only the kids make lasting friendships, but they also understand how important it is to give something back. And they feel pretty special about that. When you first get to camp, you know, you see the, the Topeka guys over here, the Lawrence guys over here, you know, the Olathe guys over here. And the first night or two when they call home telling how homesick they are and how bored they are, it, it kind of changes after that. They have some lasting memories. Last night they were giving each other haircuts and some of those are pretty special. <laughs> to be able to come out here and play the game that we love for something more than just ourselves, to be able to come out here and play this game for the kids and help raise money, it is a huge honor for all of us and I know I speak for all the players when we uh, have had a great time doing this and being able to raise that much money for these kids, so thank you all. The 2006 Shrine Bowl Parade kicked off game day festivities both for the participants and the community of Pittsburgh. The parade featured Shrine units from across the state, Shrine Bowl players, and was led by the 230-member Kansas Masonic All-State Marching Band. This band is comprised of talented high school band members from around the state. Participants are sponsored by Masonic Lodges in their areas. The All-State Marching Band became a part of the Shrine Bowl festivities in 1986. Tradition has it that the kickoff of the Shrine Bowl is signaled by the descent of skydivers into the stadium. For the last nine years, those divers were members of Skydive Kansas. Aside from thrilling spectators with their bravery and skill, these skydivers deliver the game ball and the American flag. Second down nine for the 21 yard line. This time a long snap. This year wanted an offside call. Smith keeps it, puts it on the ground. There's a fumble. Ball loose. Does the West have it? Looks like they do. And it's going to be a turnover. The West comes up with it. On the bottom of that pile, David Diener. Middle of punt from his own goal line. Back to return the kill. Yeah, punt is Trotter. Trotter backs up. No, what a kick. Back to the 30 and still rolling. The 25. Boy, that is from the goal line. That is going to be a 78 yard punt from the count of the goal line. What a boot that was. It rolls down to the 22 yard line. It is third down. Short pass is complete to the far side. What a move to get a couple extra still on his feet. On the 30, knocked out of bounds at about the 27 yard line. Catch made. On the far side, Grady Fowler is the kicker. Bryce Vigneri is the holder. The ball is placed at about the 32-yard line, barring a good snap. 
The kick is up, and it is going to be good. And our first points of the 33rd annual Shrine Bowl game belong to the West team. How many 260-pound kids do they have when you're in high school? Uh, none. Not many. There is an interception. Interception by the West team. It's going to be Shadell Breathitt, and Breathitt's going to return it to the East 26-yard line. And Smith never saw him. And now a halfback pass. Trotter's got a receiver wide open. It's going to be a catch, and it's going to be a touchdown. A 26-yard pass on the halfback pass. And in the end zone, it is Taylor Jones. So there we go. Third down and six. It's Smith. Smith scrambles back. Looking for a receiver downfield. He's going to let it fly and has a receiver. Going to get to it. It's a catch. Catch is made by Stephen Doherty. Doherty at five and knocked out of bounds. It looks like about the three yard line. Michael Hubbard made the stop and a nice stop for the West team. Here's a pass in the flat. Has a receiver. He's got his good touchdown. A three yard completion. Brett Lisher of Lawrence Free State makes the catch. Three yard pass from Jeff Smith. And it's now 10 to 6. The East. Sponsors help ensure the success of the game and to help make a substantial donation to Shriners Hospitals for Children. These checks represent a combination of cash, in-kind donations, and trade advertising. Presentations were made to Nick Thomas of Fontana, California, the International Shrine Potentate and Chairman of the Board of Shriners Hospitals for Children. Smith back in shotgun, wants to pass it. Passes to Lisher, an incomplete pass. Lisher had it for a second, dropped it. And Smith, who was over center in the last play, goes to the shotgun position. And the blitz is on, and Smith is going to be brought down. Stephen Doherty is the kicker. Derek Miller is the holder. The ball is placed at about the 25 after the snap. It'll be a 35-yard field goal. The kick is away. It is up, and it is good. Stephen Doherty. Westman one of seven on third downs in the first half. Cameron on a rollout, looking for a receiver, and it's caught. And again, same play, it is Edelman. Third down at the 15-yard line. Cameron trying to look for a receiver, has one in the end zone, and this is going to be intercepted. It is going to be intercepted by the East team, and on the play, on the interception, is Jacob Edelman. Shotgun again. It's Smith looking for a receiver. It popped up in the air and intercepted. Intercepted by the West team. And it's going to be who else but David Diener. 10 for the West team at the 20 yard lines. They try to put this game away. Schrock looking for receivers. Getting chased by East players at the 30, 25. Going to turn the corner. 20, 15, 10. First down and down the six yard line. Brady Fowler for the West team. Eyes. And now it's going to be a fake. Ball's on the ground. It's going to be picked up by the East team. An unsuccessful fake run by the West team is up in a fumble. Five seconds to go. It's going to be Miller. Three receivers this time. Miller snaps off. Pass is incomplete. And that is going to be a ball game. You've watched the 33rd annual Shrine Bowl and you watch the defensive battle as the West beats the East 10 to 9. The West making defensive plays towards the end to turn this in their favor. All of the work involved with organizing and playing the Kansas Shrine Bowl is done with kids like these in mind. There are children, friends, co-workers, and neighbors. Every day, Shriners Hospitals for Children try to bring hope and healing to these children's lives. Strong legs run that weak legs may walk.